Good afternoon, dear investors and project participants. Good afternoon to everyone who is following the development of events, who is interested in this topic. Good afternoon to everyone. Look, as we have already said, we are now going through an interesting period. This period is related to the preparation of documents for the application for the completion of construction. How is it different from normal periods? Well, most likely we can note one feature. It is the elimination of remarks that we identify and it is also elimination of deficiencies because the main volumes have been done and now we are going through this period. It is quite difficult because no matter how much you say like a candy, it doesn't get sweet in your mouth. That is why we constantly stimulated subcontractors and contractors to finish everything, to do everything completely. But according to the old Russian habit, postponing everything for later, maybe it will work out. Well, this maybe is failing them now. I would like to know that yesterday, at last, the basic layer of asphalt covering has been laid. There are small areas left. One of the entrances, a section along the curb, one well remains to be finished, and it is also the area of dry cooling towers and sidewalks. If everything works out, it will take five or six hours. Well, as always, we did not have enough time to finish it all. Now we are watching and waiting. We can even see in the window whether the asphalt will be delivered or not. If it's not, then we will stimulate them. You know, a stimulus that was used to stimulate animals. We will stimulate our contractors that way. What is today's video about? It is dedicated to an interesting event. Today we finally started pressure testing of the refrigeration system. All the pipes are welded and we did pressure testing. The system is doing fine. The next step will be to flush it. We will flush it with purified water and at the same time we will test how our water treatment plant works. After flushing we can proceed to the next step, to fill the cooling system with ethylene glycol solution. So we have one more interesting stage ahead of us. But the most important thing is that all the pipes are assembled, checked and ready for the next stage. A very large amount of work has been done. It lasted several months, even more than half a year, since the end of last year. You have seen it yourself in the videos, so this is a significant event. Another significant event is the end of assembly of noise screen. Today it was connected to the noise shield of our neighbor to the right, Green City, a data center. And it remains to insert a small section of the 3D green fence to connect it to the main fence, which is always. And this will be the last point in this work on the fence of the site. It will just remain to put a box of gutters on the noise screen and to lay the cables there, the ones that run along the old fence belonging to Technopolis. 
So another big step has been made. The works are large-scale, massive. They require considerable financial expenditures, considerable time and considerable organization efforts. One of the major works that we have not yet completed is the connection of the second water supply inlet. As a matter of fact, this is a section that runs outside our territory. Now we have done pitting, we have opened the chamber wall, and now they are opening the section up to the pipe head. And there we have Technopolis heating main, drainage, asbestos cement pipes where telecommunication cables are laid. The most important task is not to damage them. I hope that we'll pass this section with dignity. And we can say that we are ready to invite a commission here to get a preliminary conclusion on the readiness of the facility. The work of this commission will be free of charge. And the remarks that will be revealed will not require additional finances from us in the form of paying fines or other such unpleasant things. But I hope that we'll do everything fine, that the remarks will not be so important and will not require large financial resources to eliminate them. We have already talked about the fact that we have gathered the main sum of the project investment. We will need certain funds, something like 300 million, this is the estimate, in order to perform all the final work. pay for elimination of remarks, purchase additional equipment, and launch production. These are preliminary estimates, but I hope that they will be quite accurate. It is also worth noting that we are gradually expanding our staff. Qualified workers are coming to us. We hired another employee today. Also, in the last video, I talked about the fact that we have opened recruitment. We'll have job openings posted on our website. But don't assume that those openings are final. Because certain adjustments may be needed. There are people who may read job descriptions and they may decide that they don't fit in here. Don't assume that. You need to understand whether you want to grow and whether you have potential for growth. Do you have that desire to grow? Please apply. But please don't apply from other countries. If you're a cook, if you're a manager, then don't make an application, don't waste your time. Believe me, you will get a rejection, because we don't need managers. We need technical specialists, we need machine operators, we need CNC machine operators, we need stamping equipment operators, injection molding machine operators, high pressure molding machines, color casting specialists, design engineers. They are the specialists who will allow us to create a surplus product. A product with added value. By the way, many people think that the names of videos, they are something like jargon. But I can assure you that we are deeply mistaken. If I tell you now, like, for example, cameraman, bring me a kurva. 
What will you think? What is a kurva? A kurva is a track that is measured by a curvy meter. What is a curvy meter? It is an instrument that allows you to measure the length of a path, a trail, well, a trajectory of a complex path. This instrument is called a curvy meter. And the track it measures is called a curva or curve. It's how they say it. Then there was another thing. Close the chimney. Stop that siphon thing. Well, it's nothing but a sign, a road sign. We're all used to road signs, but it's done in a kind of one-sided way because those signs are not only installed on highways where cars drive, there are also signs which are used on railroads, in particular, well, steam locomotives moved on the railroads and when approaching objects that were dangerous in terms of ignition, they were woods, railroad stations, bridges, lumber yards, they could easily ignite from sparks that fly out of the pipe, as well as from the steam locomotives. Part. Therefore, when the driver approached such an area, there was an inscription, a sign, close the underblower, don't use the siphon. The siphon means not to blow out the furnace to increase the steam draft and to close the underblower so that coals don't fall out of it. It's actually a warning to the haters. You guys are approaching the moment and the area where you can burn using your approaches. So you've been warned. Don't siphon and cover that underblower. Because all those arguments you made, they have been ruined and you haven't even apologized. So don't siphon, guys, and close the underblower. Otherwise your attempts to model comments with political ramblings, they remind nothing but your ramblings. And the more you rave, the worse will be the perception of all other viewers, those who read what you write. So you've been warned. Look into it yourself. Otherwise, you may just fail. Because everything you write, it creates a certain karma for you. And karma can make you suffer. If you have something to write about, do it, because making money on the fact that you denounce everything and everyone, well, you'll not do any good. And what will history of fate do to you next? Maybe it will do something to your children or somebody you love. Then you will want to change something, but you won't be able to. So don't do nasty things. Live according to your conscience, and you'll be fine. And we will try to make even more efforts in order to achieve our goals in the shortest possible time. To launch production. And it should be noted, it should be understood, that construction was not the most difficult part or stage of the project. Now we are entering a rather serious stage, the deployment of production. And this, believe me, is not a very simple task, not a simple task at all, as it may seem, because it's like the system, either something long or something short, because to recruit people you need to give them work, and to give them work you need to start production and so on. They are interdependent processes that must be launched in a balanced way. They must be balanced. And we have an idea of how to launch the production, the program. We imagine, we know how to do it. Of course, we're not going to loudly proclaim how it is done and what we're going to do. Because there is a wisdom that says, if you want to make fate love, you should share your plans with it. So, colleagues, I hope there will be more and more good news every day. There will be more interesting. 
and will give more and more confidence in your choice. Thank you for your attention. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Goodbye.